Let's make some copper oxide, CuO. The materials we're gonna need are copper sulfate, 94.15 grams, sodium hydroxide, 30.16 grams, and these of course are stoichiometrically worked out and they are perfect, so we'll see how it goes, and water as needed. The reaction is copper sulfate plus two sodium hydroxides yields copper hydroxide as a solid, it will precipitate, and the sodium sulfate, which will remain in solution aqueous. In our methods, this is straightforward. Mix the copper sulfate, I'm gonna choose 300 milliliters of water, mix the sodium hydroxide separately in 125 milliliters of water. When this cools down, number two here, because it is exothermic, pour this sodium hydroxide into the copper sulfate solution while stirring. Then copper hydroxide will pretty much immediately precipitate out. You filter the solution to save the copper hydroxide, wash it with some cold water to get rid of, of any of the sodium sulfate that happens to be hanging around, and then you put it on some heat at around 200 to 300 degrees Celsius until it turns black. So when it's on the heat, you have your copper hydroxide, put some heat over it, and copper oxide will form as a solid, which is black, as it drives off the water as a gas. And you end up with a black powder, which is copper oxide all by itself. The water has been driven off, and that's what we're looking for. So let's go make our copper oxide. 94.15 grams of hydrated copper sulfate, pre-weighed. 30.16 grams of sodium hydroxide, pre-weighed. I got 300 milliliters of distilled water here. Let's get the magnetic stirrer going, and I'm gonna start dissolving the copper sulfate. Doesn't take long for copper sulfate to dissolve. It's dissolving the sodium hydroxide in around 125 milliliters of water here. And again, this is gonna dissolve really quick. Well, it's dissolved, didn't take long, of course, and you can see the steam coming off. This is so highly exothermic, but I'm gonna turn down the magnetic stirrer and just let it cool down before we mix these. Ready to pour the sodium hydroxide into our copper sulfate solution here. And eventually we'll have copper hydroxide crash out of this, which is already starting to occur. Both solutions are cold. Okay, you can hear the magnetic stir in there, barely making it. So it's going to take a bit, I think, to mix this up. I'll probably do a little of this by hand. I'll be back when I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to turn this down here. There is a lot of mushy solid in there. I'm sure once it dries out, it won't be nearly as much as what it looks like right now. So let's filter it next. These are almost done dripping here. I washed it several times with distilled water, as you saw in the time lapse there. So I'm gonna take the stuff out and start drying it up. It won't matter if it's completely dry because the water is gonna get evaporated anyways when I heat it next. So let's move on to that. What a mess, but I'm done. I'm gonna be using this Pyrex dish to heat this copper hydroxide here. So I'm gonna just move it over there. It's not completely dry. It dried for, I don't know, about two hours on its own. Boy, that popped right off of there nicely. Cool. So this is gonna lose the water that's in it. Plus, I don't know what this is right here, but I'm taking it out. Um, plus the water that will be produced just by heating this turning it into copper oxide. I smashed it down and spread it everywhere so it gets heated more evenly. I'm gonna turn this on here and we'll watch our copper hydroxide turn into black copper oxide. It's quite the transformation of color from blue green to green and now just black as we get our copper oxide. It looks like all of the copper hydroxide has been converted to copper oxide. And if I haven't mentioned this yet, this is copper two oxide. If this were heated to much higher temperatures, it's possible to convert some of this into copper one oxide, which is sort of an orange or reddish orange uh, color. It's cooled down and all I need to do now is chop this up good. Let's see if I can make a pile here. I gotta scrape it off the glass, which will take a little bit. This is gonna be boring. So I'm gonna collect this once it's scraped, put it in a container, seal it really well, but there you have it. Copper oxide.
And now, a message from our sponsor. Introducing Moron, a monthly subscription service. Where monthly subscription to Moron gives you black mold and insight into quagmire algorithms, strong reasoning skills for broken and odd objects, hands-on dismemberment, the ability to use everyday objects to prove you are a moron, key concepts in trying to open a bag, tuition into core brain ramblings, and flashcards are included. More flashcards are included, and even more flashcards are included. A bottle of slow-release cyanide. Try everything that Moron has to offer for the first 30 days for free. Just go to moron.org. That's moron.org. Put the link down in the description. For viewers of this video, Moron is offering a 20% off their annual premium subscription to the first to unsign their contract with Moron. And finally, I want to thank Moron for demonetizing this video, and I want to thank you for demonetizing Moron.